Have you ever had those little hairy balls on your sweater which are so annoying to remove? Sometimes it literally takes hours to remove them. This phenomenon is called peeling and today we will have a deep dive regarding this. But first let me thank one of my followers that directly asked for this video. Thanks for the suggestion man. Peeling is a huge problem in textiles. Sometimes it happens that after a while or after washing your sweater is full of these little tiny balls of fibers. We will see why peeling happens and how to prevent it. Let's see that together. Peeling is a phenomenon where little balls of fabric form on the surface of the fabric, usually caused by friction during use or washing. These balls are made up of tissue fibers that have broken apart and clumped together. Peeling is common on soft fabrics such as wool and cotton, since these fibers are hairy, but can also occur on other materials. Ok, now that we know what peeling is, how can we solve the problem? We can remove peeling with a fabric scraper or hair remover. There are also brushes designed to gently remove peeling. You can pass this item over the surface of the sweater with light movements to remove the balls. Other items can be used such as a special blade or razors. Sometimes peeling can be really frustrating. Even though you have razors and blades, you know, removing all these peels really takes time. That's why I always suggest to gently wash your wool sweater. If you have a sweater that peels, it's best to wash it inside out in a laundry bag and use a gentle cycle. Hand washing can be even gentler to avoid friction that can cause peeling. Do not use dryers, the dry tends to generate strong friction which favors the formation of the peeling. But is there something that us textile technicians can do to prevent peeling beforehand? Let's say that you have a brand and you want to completely avoid peeling because honestly it's not fun to have your customer service full of complaints due to peeling after one or two washing cycles. So what can we do? Let's start from the yarns. Normally yarns with long fibers are more peeling resistant. You have to consider that short fibers after friction and mechanical action jump out of the yarn even though they are twisted. Yarns with more twists are more peeling resistant, that's why normally in upholstery yarns with high twists are used. In knitting you cannot do that because too many twists mean a rotation of the garment, that's why you have peeling problems. Compact spinning and singeing surely help with these hairness and the peeling problems. Singeing is performed almost always for upholstery fabrics since friction is very important. Peeling after one washing means just one thing a very bad raw material with a short fiber. Fiber length is essential for a great product. Synthetic fibers and silk normally has less peeling problems since they are continuous monofilament yarns, so there is no torsion, no twisting and the fibers don't jump out. Staple yarns can, on the other hand, have peeling problems because they are more cotton-like. There are machines like Peeling Box and Martindales that are used in laboratories that can help to see how much peeling the fabric generates with a peeling scale to evaluate the problem. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. As usual, if you have any textile problem, I am at disposal naturally and as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.